On Thursday morning, the official Twitter account for Kensington Palace tweeted a series of images and videos showcasing the invitations for the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Anyone prestigious enough to get invited to the next royal wedding will get one of these fancy cards. The wedding will break tradition in a couple of ways, but one way it is in keeping with prior ceremonies is that the invitations were, once again, made by Barnard. The London-based printmaker used American ink on English cards to make the invitations, which can be seen below. The invitations follow many years of royal tradition and have been made by at Barnard Westwood. They feature the three-feathered badge of the Prince of Wales printed in gold ink. Pick.twitter.com slash CD7 Palmer huh? While they are roughly in keeping with the general look and feel of the invites used for the wedding of Prince William and Duchess of Cambridge Kate Middleton in 2011, town. First, the font is different, though not enough to be scandalous. The text's content is where things get interesting. These invites were issued by Prince Charles rather than Queen Elizabeth II, whose name adorned the top of the 2011 invites. The use of American ink also seemed to be a nod to Markle's nationality. The honorific used to refer to Markle differed from the 2011 invites, as well. Markle is, Ms. Meghan Markle, while Middleton was, Miss Catherine Middleton. The distinction there is that Markle has been married before. Lastly, this year's invites feature a specific dress code for women, requesting that they wear a day dress and hat. In 2011, the dress code was not gendered in that way. Kensington also tweeted video of the cards being made. Using American ink on English card, the invitations are printed in gold and black, then burnished to bring out the shine, and gilded around the edge. Pick.twitter.com slash gqpc6.0 Prince Harry and Meghan Markle unveiled wedding invites on March 22, 2018. Britain's Prince Harry, R, and his fiancée U.S. actress Meghan Markle attend a Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey in central London, on March 12, 2018. Photo, Daniel Leal Olivas, AFP, Getty Images.